A British Christmas. Father Christmas. The British Father Christmas has his origins in both a Christian figure and a pagan deity. Origin, beginning. Deity, a god. The Christian figure was Saint Nicholas of Myra. Saint Nicholas was a fourth-century Greek bishop, famous for his generous gifts to the poor. Bishop, senior member of the Christian Church. Gift, present, something given to someone else for free. One story of Saint Nicholas has him throwing a bag of gold coins into a house where they land in a stocking drying by the fire. The pagan deity was Odin. Odin was an important god of the Germanic people. Odin rode through the sky on an eight-legged horse called Sleipnir. Odin was described as having a long beard. Beard, hair growing from the chin and cheeks of a man, often including the hair under the nose. Children would fill their boots with straw and carrots or sugar and place them near the chimney of the house for Sleipnir. To thank them for feeding his horse, Odin would replace the food with presents or sweets. It's easy to see how Odin and Saint Nicholas became associated with Santa Claus. Associate, assumed to be one and the same. Children in Britain still hang a stocking up by the chimney on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, December the 24th, the day before Christmas Day. Stocking, another word for a sock, though normally a long sock. They also leave a mince pie or a carrot for Santa's reindeer, and a glass of sherry for Santa. Mince pie, a pastry case filled with rich fruits and sugar. In Britain, Father Christmas is also known as Santa, Saint, or Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas. The Father Christmas we know today arrived in Britain in the 17th century. His cloak was originally green, the evergreen colour of holly and mistletoe. Cloak, long heavy covering, secured at the shoulders, having no sleeves, but often with a hood for the head. The modern image we have of him began in a poem a Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. T'was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The poem also has Santa Claus riding in a sleigh, pulled by reindeer, and delivering presents down the chimney. Thomas Nast, an American cartoonist, first drew Santa as we know him today.
The picture appeared on the cover of Harper's Magazine in 1863. Nast also invented the idea that Santa's home is near the North Pole and gave him red and white clothing. Children now write letters to Santa Claus every year and the Postal Service, the Royal Mail, even has a special address for Santa. A visit from Santa is the highlight of a child's Christmas. Santa often visits the children's school. When I was young, my school was on a military base and Santa arrived by helicopter. 